compose it using other verbs. That's why, that's why it's called compose because you, you use it, you use the auxiliary, you use the auxiliary of verb and auxiliary after, whereas you don't do the same thing in imperfect. Okay, that's why it's called passive composer because you use uh, it's a compound tense and you use you take the help of other words. Okay, now passive composer. So passive composer. What we do is that we take either a verb or after to have and to be and then you have pp that is past participle in french you call it participe passé participe passé done okay now dear students participe passé is past participle now in, in, in english how do you do it I have done, I have gone, I have written. In English, we learn it. Okay? Although there's no formula, we just learn it. Okay? From the beginning, we have been learning English. So it comes naturally to us that we know I have gone. We, didn't, we don't say I have went. You know? The moment we say I have went, a bell rings and we say, no, 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 this is wrong. We can't say I have went. So we say I have gone, I have eaten, I have done, I have shown. I have made, you know, all these things come naturally to, to, to us as, as native speakers of English, okay? We are, we are in India and of course many people consider English to be a foreign language but there are many who consider English to be an Indian language. So from that point of view, past participle comes naturally to us. But we are learning French, it's a foreign language and we, we want to learn it in a nice manner, you know, grammatically rich, uh, you know, all the rules and regulations. So we are learning past participle so past participle we learn by again we take the groups first group second group and third group so what is first group er so to break past participle of any verb ending in er what do you do you remove the r and you put an accent e second group ir you remove the r and only i remains third group re you remain re and u okay you have u Let's take an example. For example, you have parler. Parler means to speak, and here parler is spoken. So you can use I have spoken. Finir is to finish. You have fini is finished. I have finished. Aprendre. Okay. Uh, sorry, yeah, you can suppose are you take aprendre is an exception. Exception, you take suppose perdre. Perdre Ari. Perdu. Perdre means to. Perdre means to lose. And what is the past participle of, of lose? Lost. I have lost. I have lost my pen. I have lost my pencil. Whatever. My eraser. So, perdu. Okay? So yeah, I think 